Hello, this is Gilles Mancien. I wanted to come by and uh, greet you, send you a blessing and light and love. I hope your days, uh, uh, your days, um, having you having a wonderful day. It is, it is the last day of August, so we are moving away from from Leo. Happy birthday to all the Leos, and we're moving towards uh, Virgo. Happy birthday to all the Virgos, for we are moving, uh, we have just passed some eclipse, so it's been a very, very powerful time, very moving time, very, uh, all kinds of things have been downloaded, we're going to need time to integrate all those new energies, uh, spiritual energies that were downloaded during the eclipse. Uh, I'm going to pull out uh, 12 cards, maybe 13 cards for each of the each, each signs and um, in the same time so each uh, each cards that I will pull for a sign will be um, addressing uh, every aspect of the consciousness in relationship to everyone for we are all connected to all 12 constellations we all have planets small planets sometimes in all the, in some of the constellation of course the sun the ascendant the moon mars venus neptune chiron uh, saturn uranus pluto uh, Neptune are very very more important maybe but there is all kinds of small planets that are very very important and powerful and so uh, and they all uh, they're moving all the time so they're moving through our, our chart all the time and so we're connected to all 12 constellations and in, in essence we need to integrate all 12 aspects of each of the zodiac sign in order to ascend transcend um, the, the, the parameters of our incarnation so the, the first card is for the for the, the Aries more specifically and for everyone it is what is potential and here is love love shared love romance love so it is a wonderful potential and, and for, for for Aries too it's a great potential for new love very powerful connection deep connection of love and romance for love has many many aspects love uh, to me love is everything love is in everything in everything I do is connected to love but when it comes to intimacy and romance where we are able to experience love on a deeper level that is connected to both uh, the emotional mental physical um, and spiritual so so this is very potential to, to realize new level of connection or new new relationships and so it is potential for all the Taurus uh, more specifically, and for for everyone, it is what we what what is grounded before us, what we have, and here we have traveling. So there is a great deal of possibility and potential for traveling, for for traveling in, in our mind, but also traveling physically, for to allow ourselves to be free in our mind, to think, to 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 investigate, to to use our mind to travel, to to project our thoughts. Uh, here, there, to to see how those things looks. We we have to be able to from now to. To use our imagination to, to start uh, uh, being able to, to imagine all the places or to, to imagine all the, all the conditions and, and so as, as we practice this we will be able to solidify this vision enough until the day we'll be able to just project ourselves there for the, to hold the vision long enough is enough to, to, to catalyze the experience so uh, those are things we're working on I'm working on at least, um, and and then we're, we're moving into so so it will be uh, there will be a lot of traveling for for uh, uh, for everyone before it is anchor in Taurus, but more specifically, uh, uh, this should be a moving journey for all the tourists in September. Then in Gemini for all the Gemini in particular, but for everyone it is our mental process. It is what's uh, going on in a mental field. And, and here we have moment to moment. It is about uh, being able to live each moment without having to to, um, to to know that we are protected, we are supported, we are guided, we are loved in every moment of our life. Otherwise, we don't exist. But this love is often being uh, submerged or, or suppressed by uh, or by uh, by conditioning, by by limitation, by past memory of wounds or or anything. But no, none of those things have, have true value in a sense that they, they had value when we experienced it. But now we have to to learn to go with the flow, to move moment by moment, and to enjoy each moment with the most. Um, for when we live in the present, where we, there is no no more expectation from the for the future or or memories from the past. We are totally enjoy, totally in the ability to move from moment to moment and this is really what what is going on for the whole of humanity will be moving towards that eternal now for the whole process and every energy is to be transmuted it might probably take a, of a hundred or two hundred years but but we do not need to wait the present moment of now is now and is happening now it will be happening it was happening a million years ago it will be happening uh, happening in a million years from now it is still the same moment of now 
time time does not change time is only what separate events and things and so it is a, it is a guardian for everybody change through time but time is still time is never changed time it's just an eternal uh, frequency of, of evolution that timelines are unfolded through it but it's just an idea sort that was created uh, time and space in a wonderful sort it gave us the opportunity to exist in physical form in the universe of, a, of divine creation and so so um, so in essence, then we, we move into cancer, more specifically for the cancer, but for, for everyone it is about the inner self, about the inner realm, the, the innermost environment, and here we have trust. For cancer, your cancer can be closed uh, or open, they, they, they're very, very sensitive, but here it's a time to trust. And, and so it is very important to trust, and we trust, we can trust our inner self, to trust that everything is well and will get better as we move forward. For There is a, an acceptation, we have to accept that life is perfect, there is a divine cosmos, as the Greek philosopher said, and we are moving from chaos into cosmos, from disorder into order, or, or, or even Spinoza, the philosopher Spinoza, who was trying to remove all kind of superstition from the religious ideas, was um, was um, uh, understanding that life was infinitely perfect as it was. They could not be, life could not be any different than it was. Yet there is always things that we feel that we can do to perfect it, and so no matter to accept the perfection that is, and yet to follow your guidance to move towards greater perfection. Then in Leo, which is the heart right now, and it's uh, the, the, the questions of the heart, more specifically for the Leo, but for everyone else also. It is, the, it is a transformation, a deep, powerful transformation. So be open to change. Do not hold on to the past. Allow the transformation to happen. Trust God. Trust the universe. Trust the process. Then in Virgo, we're moving into Virgo. And the, when the time of Leo in August, it is about a fun and expansion and heart happening and when we move into September everything starts again we have to be analytical uh, detail oriented uh, or uh, into organization for, uh, for it is the, the, a new cycle that is beginning and so for, for all the Virgo but for, for everyone else as well for everyone else it is how we nourish ourselves um, spiritually and, and materially and more specifically for the Virgo is it is a time of self-empowerment it is the creator and we are nourishing ourselves from this, this potential of power presence create a presence, uh, internal power that we need to, we are moving towards that and so we are nourishing ourselves from this potential. Then in Libra we have, um, in, in Libra, it is specifically for the Libra, but for everyone else it is our, what's happening on the social frame, the social circle. And here we have the wheel of fortune, so we cannot hold on to the past, the past is gone, the wheel is turning, things will change, things have changed, miracles are possible, uh, all kinds of things will become possible this month in terms of a uh, social world and, and very good months for Libras, I'm sure. Uh, then we move into Scorpio, the inner depth, the subconscious, the inner self for, for, all, for all the Scorpios, but for everyone else it is the inner transformation and here it is quite a, a wonderful card of the chariot, it is called awareness here. Uh, it is emerging from the inner self is a new consciousness, a higher consciousness. It is opening a stargate into the possibility of, uh, of visioning and, and opening our senses to greater and greater um, greater and greater sensibility and, and attunement um, for uh, the highest guidance that you can uh, we, uh, what's very important is to understand a sense of priority in life and the greatest guidance you can ever uh, find is the one that comes from the inner self it is the what comes from you is, is more powerful in terms of knowledge that one can come from anyone else so it is very important to stay tuned to to all your impression your intuition your dreams your your, your insight and to trust that then uh, we are moving to Sagittarius for the Sagittarius in particular, but for everyone it is uh, it is the high, higher laws and philosophies and concern. And here the concern for this month is turning in, turning in the ability to not allow ourselves to be distracted by the outer world and to turn to the ocean of peace within ourselves. Um, 
for that explains that the, way, the soul needs to, to be nourished, but it's, it, if it tries to be nourished from the shadows around us, uh, we will never be quenched in terms of our source will never be quenched for the soul as one is thirsty for one thing, it is freedom and freedom can only be attained by, by holding on to the light only and to let go of the shadows. And so by turning in, we'll come to discover all kinds of things, all kinds of new activation, new potential, new, new revelation that will come to ourselves through this process of tranquil uh, ability to, to calm our mind and to turn within. It is something we got to get used to it, to, to, find, uh, to find habits of doing that. Then in Capricornus, for the Capricornus, but for everyone, it is what comes to us from the universe. And uh, here we have duality. Duality is really the the fact that we have some part of us that wants to do something and other part of us that wants to do something else. For we all have those kind of uh, dichotomies where we, because we, we have certain uh, frequency, we there is certain part of ourselves that have certain desires and others that have uh, opposing uh, desires. So it is good to be able to let go of uh, of both of those ways. If we, if we cannot decide between two ways, this card is, is, is telling us to let go of both ways and, and go into a third way. Let go of, of, if you cannot choose between two potential, choose a third one. Once you make that choice of the third one, you will know if the third one is not right, if one of them it was right. But do not um, linger too long in doubts or it's better to make a wrong decision for you will know that is the wrong decision than to make no decision at all and someone will make the decision for you. So once this is understood, we move into the state of receptivity in Capricorn. So it is very much the ability to be in a receptive mode, to receive from the universe, to be open to receive, to, to be in a full state of openness and the ability to share our inner emotion. Uh, openly, the more we are able to share our emotion, the more satisfying life becomes, for we are able to the, to express our emotion po in a positive way. Uh, we, the universe reflects that always. Uh, then in Aquarius, especially for the Aquarius, but also for everyone else, it is about our dreams and, and, uh, and uh, our desires, our friends, our hopes. And here we have integration. So we, we are hoping to be able to integrate all those, those, those little parts of ourselves to become a greater whole, and this is really what's happening. The, the, the cards also has the symbol of the yin and the yang, those are two beings, two, two great amazing universal beings that are constantly uh, balancing things out. They are, they are uh, they're just uh, the spectators, so to speak, but, but they are the great higher logo that needs to be integrated, to integrate the yin and the yang within ourselves, to integrate the feminine and the masculine within ourselves, whether we are men or women, we do need both parts. We, we have a part that is intuition, and we have a part that is uh, feminine, and we have a part that is rational, that is mental, we have, we have a part that is... Um, that is creative, that is masculine, and we have a part that is receptive, that is feminine. So all those parts are always, uh, they're always uh, in balance, so it's, sometimes they are disbalanced, so we need to bring them back into balance, but this integration should be able to do that. And then finally for the Pisces, for, for the Pisces more specifically, myself included, uh, uh, and for everyone else, it is the karma, which is unavoidable this month, and what is unavoidable for the karma is the healing. It's to be able to bring healing into situation, to, to move into this new new cycle that is healed, that is complete, that is full, that is... That, that is um, receive as such. So so this will be a very powerful and a powerful month. August has been a very powerful month, uh, but I say we will continue on that, uh, that energy flow that will continue to build up and, and uh, as time goes on we will find ourselves be more uh, more tuned, more integrated, more uh, more um, inspir inspired and and, uh, and, and we'll find uh, we'll develop new uh, perception onto the things that we uh, onto all things within life can be seen from new angles, from new perception. Um, although angles, our points of view are angles, uh, I just want to make a, a recommendation in relation to healing, is that uh, it is important when you find yourself in an angle that is not comfortable, in a point of view that is not uh, fully enjoyable, to imagine yourself in a round circle full of light, and then once you are in the circle, you are no longer affected by that angle. Right. 
So and the, the outcome for the outcome for this whole month for everybody is we are the world. It is wealth, it is prosperity, it is abundance, it is about sharing, it is about uh, becoming uh, becoming that one planet, becoming a whole, becoming the one that is all. For for there is the higher there is lower cycle, there is a higher cycle, and we are in our own cycle. But in essence, there is no higher or lower. Everything is one. It is only when the, all the ones will become one that the one will will reveal its true essence. Until then. You have to respect those that are working on lower cycle, yet uh, also uh, look into those who are working on higher circle to learn from them. And then, then you can teach those who are working on the lower cycle uh, below. But in essence, we are all precious, we are all unique, we are all one. We, there is no more, uh, no one is more special than others. Everybody is beloved by, by God and by Creator, by the universe, by the earth. And so we are here to share this world, to, to move beyond the limitation and the beliefs that we had before that could. Uh, led us to believe uh, uh, that that that, uh, that that life was limited, life was short, life was hard, life was suffering. All those things need to be let go in order to accept the new frequency of joy and happiness that are presenting themselves. Well, I hope this reading was uh, interesting for you. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much for your comment, for your likes, for your messages, and uh, and, and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.